The Mazda MX-5 Miata is by far the most popular bang for your buck roadster you can get today. It is loved by many car enthusiasts all around the world and it doesn't matter if it's the old Miatas or the new ones. The older and newer models all have something to offer, from superb fuel efficiency all the way up to their excellent performance. So we can all agree that the Miata is a very dependable sports car, but just like any other car, it still has its fair share of issues. I did the research so you don't have to to make your life easier if you're after a Miata. So here are the most common problems of the Mazda Miata. Convertible top problems. Imagine you're driving in your lovely Miata and you notice it's starting to rain. So you decide to put up its convertible top, hoping it would shield you from getting wet. Only to realize that the rain is still getting through. And this is one of the most common issues of the 2008 Mazda Miata. Some 2008 Miata owners have complained that the vinyl top for their Miata fell apart because it's rarely used. Another issue is the frame overstressing the vinyl causing it to crack. Even the driver's side seam can tear apart due to these stresses. These convertible related issues seem to happen when the car is outside of its warranty period. So many MX-5 owners would replace the convertible tops with hard tops instead. As of now, Mazda still hasn't issued any recalls to fix this issue. Clear coat delamination. Many 2000 Mazda Miata owners have addressed the issue of clear coat delamination. What is clear coat delamination you may ask? This is when bubbles and white spots form on the exterior paint of your car. This is more common in older Miatas and is normally caused by gradual changes in temperature and the use of incompatible paint products. And no, applying another coat of paint won't save it from clear coat delamination. Most owners would actually have their car stripped to bare metal to counter this issue. AC Compressor Failure Many 2012 Mazda Miata owners say that this year and model suffer from AC compressor issues. This is because of where it's located inside the car. It is at a risk of premature wear due to exposure to the elements. Other owners have also addressed the fact that their AC stopped working even if their Miata has barely racked up any miles. They would just have their AC compressor replaced altogether to fix this problem. Again, no recalls have been made to fix this issue. Restricted EGR system. This issue is more commonly found in 1999 Mazda Miatas. The check engine light would appear on the dash due to a clogged or restricted EGR system. Some drivers have resolved this issue by just inspecting the EGR valve and clearing its passages. Rust. This is by far the Miata's biggest enemy, especially the older ones. The most common places where rust may form are in the rocker panels and fender arches. Front frame rail rust may also be found in NB Miatas, but this is not as common as the other two. The reason the rocker panels are more prone to rust is due to the fact that rust manifests itself over time. It's likely that it came from rust on the underlying structure. You would need to check for bubbles on the paint as it is often a sign of underlying rust, especially if it's near the undercarriage. The interior. The interior of MX-5s are usually durable but it doesn't hurt to check for any signs of unusual wear and tear. If the car is often left in the sun for too long, the seat's fabric would usually fade. Another interior issue to look out for is the driver's side left seat bolster might also be worn out because of constantly getting in and out of the car over time. Make sure to check the pedals too. If the car doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but they look worn out, something is definitely off. Fuel filler pipe. This is actually one of the most common issues addressed by 2007 Mazda Miata owners. They would complain that their fuel filler cap would come loose on its own making the check engine light appear. Owners would see the dreaded check engine light because of a loose fuel filler cap after refueling. The check engine light would often still stay even if the cap was already tightened. This is actually due to the fuel filler pipe having improperly manufactured threads. Clutch Slave Cylinder Leak Problems with the clutch slave cylinder are most commonly found in 2001 Mazda Miatas. In most cases, there would be no warning. The Miata would all of a sudden just simply refuse to go into gear. You would also feel the lack of pressure in the clutch pedal itself. Drivers would report that even if there weren't any noticeable leaks, the master cylinder reservoir would become empty. But the cause of this is pretty simple. A hydraulic leak have developed in the clutch slave cylinder causing the lack of clutch pedal pressure and an inability to shift gears. Owners would later on replace their slave cylinder to tackle this issue. 
these are just some of the more common issues you may come across if you are in the market for a Mazda Miata. So if you do see one you like and you're buying it used, make sure the seller goes through every single issue the car has before deciding to take it. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any more issues we didn't include in this list. This way we will be helping more people. And with that being said, thanks for watching, keep safe, and I'll see you on the next video.